Last week on Windfall, we left Clearwater and headed for Sarasota with a very uncooperative sail and a spilled plant on the way. All right, they're practicing their knots, the bowlings and the stopper knot, figure eight, the reef knot, the sheet bend. Just trying to get a hang of what uh, the knots are, and then it gives them an idea that not only will it work for sailing, but gives you the knowledge of knots for later on for anything, tying stuff down, and then back down. Nope, yeah, back down the hole, yep. Now pull the bottom. There you got it. There you go. Done. Got it. This seemed to be the perfect time for Dad and Diego to get a little cat nap in. All right, we got a few miles till we get to our anchorage for the day, and then someone's gonna go swimming because it is 80 degrees out. Steering with my foot. There's another sunken boat. Holy crap! They're like so many nice boats and then like that one's just sunk just right on the bottom so sad Dad should have brought his bongos. Should have had my bongos. I show him how to do the double roll. And... I've looked up a lot of stuff and played. I mean, it's, you know. But I've done a couple drum circuits. Beautiful. 
beautiful morning on the Gulf today. Everyone's coming out going fishing because it's so calm. Um, we're about six nautical miles from Fort Myers, so we'll be there pretty shortly and then kind of get my phone situated because my mom is sending me another phone because <laughs> I did drop mine in the in the ICW, unfortunately, but but yeah, it's beautiful out here on the Gulf today. Uh, winds are actually perfect tomorrow for us to shoot down to the Keys, so that would be cool if we could do that, but I gotta figure out my phone situation, so... We may hang out in Fort Myers for a few days. We may shoot down to the Keys because it's great winds, so we'll see. But we're almost there. We got another uh, two days after this of travel, and then we've made it to our destination. Anchored windfall and headed into town to see what we could find in Fort Myers Beach. Look at all, look at all the things. All right. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa. Just like downtown red and brown. Beautiful. Beautiful. Gorgeous. 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 Oh, there's no cleats here, so I'll have to tie to us. Hang on. Pull us up here so we can get out there. It's easier to get out this way than it is trying to jump off the bow. Alright, get up. Alright, toss my shoes. They're right under your right under your seat. All right. A clove hitch. One more under. And right up through the center. Nope. Oh yeah, under the center. Nope. <laughs> right through there. Oh, okay, okay. There, that's a clove pitch, right? Nice. Look at that beautiful thing. Good job doing it on your own. <laughs> Thanks. I just needed a little help. <clears throat> All right, we are in Fort Myers, which I spent two years here. Two, two months. months. Two years ago here. So we are at Matanza's Marina. Bonita Bills is over there, but they are full. That's where Dad stayed. Bonita Bills, Bonita right Bills, over there. They're full, which they were. I got the last slip the last time I was here. So we're gonna go up and and check our, it out. Thing. We're gonna slip in and try it. This, oh, this and is, is we're nice only setup. two days from the Keys, and we have perfect wind. So we Let's might make it up. in two days. Shark River and then the Keys. So yeah, we're finally here. Yeah, almost. We've come a long way. <laughs> With 86 degree days, a bunch of cute little surf shops along the beach, and a piercingly white sandy beach with a nice pier, we were excited to explore Fort Myers. Today, like three times. So, uh, duck? Yeah, but stingrays don't normally fly. This one came right out of the water twice. Bing, bing. How awesome this trip has been it just like all hit me at once it's just full of adrenaline and excitement and anticipation for the keys and I, I definitely thought I'd probably make it to Florida one way or another but I didn't think I'd come the way that I've came <laughs> I definitely didn't think I would come on a sailboat with my dad so it's been really awesome so I'm gonna go find Ryan and uh, 
can see what he's doing. So this guy walking up here, we were talking to him for a little bit, walking back there. We were talking to him for a little bit and I guess um, Brian from uh, Sailing Vessel Delos called him looking for advice on uh, crossing the Indian Ocean. He used to live in Chagos when they had like um, all the, the little village that was there in that little coconut plantation. Um, he lived there and uh, the uh, ambassador, the head of the plantation, right? Dead? Mm. The head of the plantation guy? The ambassador? Is that what he said? Yeah, like the, the, the king or something. The king of the island of Chagos, yeah. I guess, technically. He uh, gave him a sailboat. <laughs> so he sailed around and uh, Brian from Sailing Vessel Delos called him looking for information on how to sail the Indian Ocean before he crossed it. So we thought that was kind of cool. We talked to him for a, a good probably hour, hour and a half about a ton of things. So kind of cool. Cool to meet people like that. He was a cool guy. That night we ended up getting dragged out to a bar that had karaoke so our friend Wade could sing a few songs for us. A huge thank you to anyone who's watched even one of our videos. We really appreciate it. We love sharing these videos for you guys of our travels. Join us next week as we help out our friend Wade by taking a little road trip over to Montgomery, Alabama so he can go home for Christmas. It was just Dad and I. We had a lot of fun being landbound for a little while. Thanks, everyone.